so I'm off to check on a trail camera that I set up in the wood last week. Um, if you're not overly familiar with what a trail camera is, it's basically a very basic camera trap setup. So you've got a camera and a sensor all built into one unit in a waterproof housing, kind of all built in. So it's, yeah, it's a very basic setup. Um, it's quite inexpensive. We've got two and I think we paid £40 for one and 50 for the other excluding memory cards and batteries so um, yeah relatively affordable um, I'll put links in the description below and honestly if you're into wildlife photography and you haven't had a play with some trail cams then I definitely recommend it they are really useful for finding out where wildlife is um, and they are just really fun to use um, it's yeah very fun looking back at the footage and seeing what you've captured. So that's what I'm doing today. So I'm actually quite excited about going to go and check on this um, trail camera. Reason being is last time I set up the trail camera in this spot, well in the same wood, um, I got footage of a fallow deer suckling which was just absolutely awesome to have captured on video so yeah expectations are high for today well yeah let's temper that enthusiasm by saying that I'm very aware that animals will do what animals want to do and they might decide that they want to get in front of the camera and they might decide that they don't want to and likewise I might have set up the trail cam in a inopportune location or I might have handled it too much so that it smells too much of me and therefore that would put off some of the creatures that have got a very keen sense of smell such as badgers or they might be put off by visually actually seeing the trail cam. I have to temper my enthusiasm but otherwise I'm really looking forward to seeing what we found. And the other reason that I'm excited is that last time I was here I saw a creature that I now believe to be a polecat. So um, yeah, that's really exciting. I, I'll admit that at the time I didn't know what I was seeing. I mean I thought of it as a very large ferret with a brown and cream stripy face and then looked it up afterwards and found that it is called a polecat. So um, that's really exciting. I mean it dived into a burrow and I don't know whether that burrow was made by a rabbit and it just dived in because it saw me and um, wanted to hide or whether that's in fact where it lives. So that's exactly the kind of thing that a trail camera is useful for, is telling you that kind of information. So yeah, I'm really excited about going and checking on the trail cam today. So I've taken down the trail cam because I don't like playing it back in situ, it makes quite a lot of noise on the playback. Um, so let's see what we've got. I think that's a polecat. Really? I think that's a polecat. Wow.
So the video clip is quite short and the animal may be moving away from the camera but I think it's still quite a promising start and um, I think going forward I could position the trail cam in a better spot in that what I wanted to do in this first instance was to point it directly at the burrow, the burrow that I'd seen the polecat disappear into and there's no real indication that the polecat's actually using this burrow. I think knowing that would then be an impetus to put the trail camera up in slightly different spots within the same woodland um, and hopefully get some better images. Um, and I'm also quite aware that I am fortunate to have seen the polecat in the first place in that um, you know the trail camera has been out for a week now and it's only got one capture so yeah I feel quite fortunate to have seen it in the flesh. Um, but for now I'm going to go home and look at the files properly on a big computer monitor and I've got lots of batteries that need charging too. For now I'm going to leave you with some trail cam footage that I've got of some badgers, mainly just I just want to share it with you guys badgers behaving completely naturally in front of the camera which is a joy to see. Filmed at a different location so rather gratuitous to share it with you so yeah. If you did like this video please consider subscribing to the channel, giving it a thumbs up and popping some comments in the section below. Thank you for watching.